It's minus eight degrees on the picket line outside Oxford's Warnford Hospital. The nurses here undeterred. As passing cars honk their support. They're joining colleagues across England, Wales and Northern Ireland in the first strikes of their kind in the history of the National Health Service, a service that many say is on the brink of collapse. We've lost thousands, thousands and thousands of nurses during the pandemic, but pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, actually, the nursing profession has been chronically affected by our government and, and things that have happened in the world for a really, really long time. We met one of the nurses, Rachel Ambrose, at home the day before the strike. Full-time heating is no longer affordable, so when the children are out at school, it's freezing. She's been a nurse for 20 years, and for much of that time, Rachel says her salary has been stagnant or fallen in real terms as the cost of living, particularly this year, has gone up. So from the summer, we were averaging about £160 a month, and that was already an increase from the April, I think, when it went up. Um, and yeah, it's shot up. It's nearly £400 now. Prices just keep going up, and we're just expected to swallow it, and it's, it's not physically possible. Um, so it is time that we took a stand, um, and yeah, we're basically asking for what has been lost over this past, um, you know, 10, 15 years. Um, and we just want a fair wage, you know. We're not asking for treats, we're just asking um, for a fair wage so we can afford to continue working as nurses. Back on the picket line, the nurses say they regret the effect strikes will have on non-urgent patient care, but they say the effect of staff shortages caused by those leaving the service is worse. The nurses are asking for a 19% pay rise or 5% above inflation to meet, they say, a 20% fall in real terms wages in recent years. It's a negotiating position that the government so far isn't engaging with beyond around 4% currently on the table. Any more, they say, will have to be paid for in higher taxes. Support has grown as the day goes on. The nurses joined by representatives of other unions. It's not only health care that's under pressure, but railways, airports, the border force, bus drivers and more. The government facing a winter wave of disruption right across the public sector. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Oxford.